Hi everyone, there's a new version of the barter decks that was released recently and I'm making a video to update everyone on the new functionalities of the barter decks. Once you've followed the installation guides, you'll be presented with a similar screen and what you will want to do is you'll want to generate a new passphrase. So what this video will be about, it will be a step by step on most of the uh, basic functions of the trading app so you can start trading on the barter decks. If it's if it's your first time logging into the barter decks, the first thing you want to do is generate a passphrase. And I am going to use a text file to save the passphrase, but you can use whichever method you would like. Uh, this is a seed, so basically you should treat it as any other seed uh, that will generate your private keys, right? So you want to be secure. Okay, so once you have it, And the, the barter decks will want you to type it just to be certain that you have it. So I just pasted it and deleted a few letters and went ahead and typed the remaining ones. And once it detects it's the same passphrase, it will let you log in. Once you log into the barter decks, just as a, as a safety mechanism, I always recommend checking your receive address and taking note of the receive address because this is where you're going to receive the funds, right? And we need to make sure that we have the same address um, that pertains to our seed. What I do is that I log out and I log back into the wallet just to make certain that I'm generating the same address looks good and just to give you a rundown of what the dashboard looks like we have an add coins button which lets you add coins for example let's add bitbay on electrum mode there's no electrum servers for bay so for that coin, we would have to run native, but let's see. I think I might have Dogecoin on Electrum. Once you select the add button, it'll add the coin and then you'll see your balance. Uh, if you select the receive tab, you'll see your address, your trading address. So here is where you will receive funds in order to begin trading. Now that I have a seed, what I want to do is that I want to fund my address. Now the barter dex is different from other exchanges because it's atomic swaps. So your UTXO dependent and what that means is that it doesn't matter if you have a hundred Komodo in your wallet and you try to buy a one Komodo order. You actually are more dependent on having a one Komodo input to be able to match that order, right? Um, it's a bit tricky, but in a set, I, I will try to explain how this works in the trading uh, mechanism. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to log out of this wallet and I am going to log back into one of my uh, pre generated wallets that is already funded so we can attempt some trades and we can look at the other functions of the app. Okay, so. I log into the barter decks with my seed and I will give it a few moments for it to update. Once the wallet fetches the balances, you will be able to begin trading. But before we do that, let me just break this down for you. So up top, we see a portfolio chart and this just sort of breaks down uh, your portfolio depending on how much balance you have. So as you can see, 81% of my portfolio is Komodo. Some of it is chip. Some of it is uh, Litecoin. So what we can do now is we can select one of these coins. Let's select Litecoin. Now, when we select Litecoin, you'll automatically be presented with two things. You'll be presented with the seller and the buyer row. And what this means is that these are the live orders that are currently uh, 
propagated to your app. So basically, this is a peer-to-peer -peer app. So this is not like you are connecting to a server where all of the orders are there, right? This is literally like you connecting to a BitTorrent client, and this client is sending a signal out and receiving signals. So this is how the atomic swaps work. They're fully peer-to-peer, -peer, but once you see the orders on your on your uh, front end, you can select the order, and it's pretty straightforward. Once you select the order, you will be presented with the max price to buy, which will be a price in Komodo. And it will be, uh, you will also be presented with the max amount, which will be the max amount you want to buy for this order, right? So if we select 1.8 for maximum Litecoin for this order, it will cost me 9.5 Komodo. Um, and this will be with an average size UTXO of five Komodo. So for example, this seller here will, you will be able to match an order if you have a UTXO around 5.4 Komodo. You need to have the UTXO that is very close to the actual total cost. And you need to also have the uh, DEX fee, which is 0.0128%. It's really very small, but if, if I can put it in a ratio, if you have one Komodo, you if, if for example, the total cost was one Komodo, then the DEX fee would be 0.0128 Komodo. Uh, for this particular one, for example, 5.48, it would be around 0.07 Komodo in uh, a DEX fee. So I would need to account for that in my balance. And that's really when uh, where the UTXOs come into place. However, if you have the UTXOs, uh, you can press buy and the order should go through. Now, if you're wondering how do you get the UTXOs or how do you break them down, you can uh, select your inventory and here, you will be able to see the sizes of your UTXOs. And you'll actually be able to use the tool to break them down. However, this tool is not perfect. This tool um, often freezes when there's many UTXOs because what it's doing is that it's interacting with the back end. So the front end is very limited in a sense because you can't do as many things as you can um, from the command line. Not yet anyway. But for now, uh, this is one of the easiest ways to split your UTXOs. Another way would be, for example, if I knew my total order, my total cost was 5.4 Komodo, I would send 5.4 Komodo from another wallet to the barter decks, and then I would send another transaction of uh, 0 0.07 Komodo to cover for the DEX fee. Um, in the future uh, barter DEX versions, there will be a backend function and that will split the UTXOs for you. So users will not have to worry as much about this. And actually, this is available now. It's just not polished as much. Uh, so you still have to have some knowledge of how to break your UTXOs down to make a trade. And okay, so if we keep going, um, you see that we have now a yellow tab here and what this means is that our order is live we can see that uh, if, if we click the I icon the info icon you see that this is our public address so this is our order uh, it is 75 seconds old uh, there's really no UTXO data because you're not a liquidity provider it's just a one uh, one-time order so there will be no 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 other data uh, and you can either wait for the swap to complete but for example there's a high possibility if the swap doesn't complete within a few minutes that it's not going to complete for x or y reason so even if the utxos match you could have a problem in connection because this is peer-to-peer -peer, right so what i would do if you have a transaction that's stuck you can uh, navigate down here to my offers and you can click the stop button and your order will automatically uh, be eliminated and then you can go back to the dashboard um, let's see if we can find any other orders I will I will see if there's chips orders okay so there's quite a few orders here 
You can pick any order. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to use the numbers that are pre-filled for you. For example, if I wanted to buy more, it just depends if you have the proper UTXOs. So you can execute the order, and the order, the atomic swap will begin in the in the background. You can do this for all of the coin pairs in the barter decks. In the coming releases, we will be adding ERC20 token support and Ethereum support. It's already available on the version that you can build yourself, but currently users, it's not available for, for, for everyone. We're still testing it. Okay, so keep moving. If we want to add more coins, we can add them manually. However, we can also uh, we can use the manage coin option to create a little bit of persistence. So if you have a coin that's uh, one of your favorite coins, let's say Bitcoin private, right? We can select Electrum or Native and then add it to the coin startup. So what this will do is that every time you start up the barter decks, these coins will automatically launch and you won't have to launch them um, manually, which was the case before. Okay. The trade history tab will show you a bit of more detailed instance of the trades that you've done previously. If you click show details, it will show you the blockchain data of any previous trades that you've made. If we click the settings tab, you will be able to switch between a light and a dark theme. You will be able to hide or show the charts currently it's set to hide the charts uh, aren't very helpful at the moment but you can activate them if you wish you can also activate experimental features or deactivate them experimental features give you a few more options when it comes to the trading such as the trade bot but i would not use it if you're not an experienced trader just stick to the uh to the normal features you can also reset the settings if you're having a, a trouble launching the app or anything of the sort once you're done, you can save the settings and then you can relaunch the app and your settings will take hold. And that is pretty much it. Um, the only other function that you will want to use during, uh, during your experience with the Bartodex will be the send or the receive options, which are the wallet functions, right? So you can receive and send from, from your Bartodex. And it's pretty straightforward. You can click the receive tab to get your receive addresses. And you can send um, and send from the barter decks using the native or the Electrum light mode on, on the app. Well, guys, this is pretty much all of the functions of the current front end app for the barter decks core. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it explained at least some of the basic functions. There will be a very much uh, or a much simpler version that will be coming out in the coming months. And also for the DICO that's upcoming, there will be a standalone app that will be very simple to use to make the atomic swaps. Currently, we're nearing 90,000 atomic swaps with this app. It is functional. There's liquidity. So go ahead and test. Uh, shoot us any questions please join slack telegram or go to support.komodoplatform.com if you have any trouble or need any technical support have a great day guys